I completely forgot that I had a video privated on my channel, completely finished, just waiting for Art Deco Llamas to come around. In my brain, without thinking it about it at all, I, I thought that the Floor Flusher came from the Wild West Llamas, so I think I was waiting for that. I don't know. Art Deco came out, so I posted the video. Freebie video. I know I'm on break, and I've been saying that a million times, but I still threw that together anyway a while ago and i don't remember when but there you go enjoy it floor flesher video is super strong also a lot of people have been asking me for some really good loadout suggestions and i figured since we're going to be grinding challenges two three and four from the storm surge uh modifier on uh, survive the horde i figured i'd show off like four really solid loadouts so i know it's a three hour video but i timestamped this really carefully so if you want to just click through and learn some things there's a really good constructor loadout overview in here a soldier loadout bow loadout and a shotgun loadout and then of course we did do challenge five i think archer already posted his part but i'll post mine tomorrow if you guys want to check it out it's uh, really really fun it's the hardest survive the horde challenge we've had yet because it's the storm surge on top of the normal mode so it's uh it's pretty cool pretty good deal and then of course my very first runs of each are also here so if you guys really want to just uh watch some long form content on the side monitor while you're gaming or on your phone while you're gaming i got like five hours of new content with more on the way so uh yeah Horde really woke me up from my little break here. So anyway, nothing too crazy in Save the World today, although there are some decent missions. So we'll check that out in a second. But there are a couple of new items in BR. So we got the hail skin, which is uh, not just the... Is that hail or hail or hail? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's pretty cool. Just a basic skin. I don't even think there's a back bling. I think it is just the skin. So if you do see that and you like it and you want to pick it up, feel free to use code MISTA at your checkout. I'll get 5% of your purchase at no further cost to you. And uh, of course, that's uh, in real life dollars. So I would We'll appreciate that very much and then there's also the new wrap that goes alongside it and we can actually click over here cycle the model it's just a nice little uh, blue and orange combo pretty cool deal and if you want to check that out there it is as for the rest of the shop it's uh pretty straightforward seems just like a lot of stuff that just came out or is just uh old in general the br shop has changed a lot recently and we're still sticking with this confusing mess where scrolling does that buggy stuff where it's switching categories but not smoothly I don't need to be the millionth person to complain about the BR shop. So we're just gonna we're just gonna move on from there. Quick thank you to everybody who's been using my code. If you do use code Mist at your checkout and you want to be given a little little shout out in the videos, just ping me in the uh, creator codes channel. This also applies to like advanced CG or if I ever I have a sponsor going on. Uh, this channel is a great way to say it. A uh, great way to share it. There we go. But uh, yeah, thank you guys. Also getting a good deal on that bundle by the way. I know Chungus came out. And that bundle gave a bunch of people a discount. Same here. Gotta get the brand new bundle. Got Caron. Caron. Car I don't remember the actual way to pronounce that, but little uh, entrance to the river sticks. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Entrance through to the underworld. I need to just double check all this. I don't keep up with my Greek mythology because, you know, it changes so often. Super range llamas are available today. The only thing worth buying in this would be the Xenon bow or the vacuum tube bow. There are fantastic weapons that can be available in these range weapon llamas. However, they are also available in regular missions and a thousand extra tickets is a lot to spend. So uh, be careful on that. And uh, ventures. I have nobody joining me today. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, I don't like it when people whisper me. I'll maybe see that later. Um, yeah, never whisper me. If you can always ping me in Discord or comment on YouTube videos, I'm very approachable. I just don't like messages popping up while I'm recording. I'll read that later. But uh, in ventures, there's a few things going on. Lots of purple items that are somewhat decent. I guess I have to talk about these now because we are in a mutant storm, which means we are generally getting less rewards, less V bucks. It's it's just less of everything. And epic. He heard our complaints and made the missions kind of amazing anyway. So we have so many, 111 alerts, even on like a bad day. So two of those legendary survivors available today, the two that we have actually are available in ventures in the 140 zone, which is great because the season just started and nobody has access to the 140s. So I guess it's not great. I don't know. I know it's random, but I don't know why they allow that to happen. Anyway, Sea Electric Field is also up there for the four of you that can queue those missions already. But yeah, for everybody else, we got some purple survivors. Rescue Trooper is still going to give you a 50% damage bonus to your SMGs and your ARs in the lead. Whether she's purple or not, Ranger's still a great AR. All these things are still nice, but um, yeah. All right. I will again read that later. So in Twine, the thing I can show you, we got the 4X perk up and the 76 retrieve the data. Then we got the Ceiling Drop Trap, one of the best traps in the entire game that is heavily featured in my, in my Horde runs because if you play 
place it directionally like if you're facing the objective and you place the ceiling trap it'll bounce enemies back the opposite direction that's really really useful i was showcasing this in one of my videos where it like was stalling them up the hill and it's doing good damage at the same time it's a great trap to use it's up high safe away from the death bombs great uh, great trap overall then in the 94 zone we have uh, the best smg in the game the thrasher i comment on it every time because it's awesome i think a thrasher video or a thrasher horde run would be kind of a fun thing to showcase so i might do that i might do that uh then we also got the 4x reperk in the 108.4 player and the 4x perk up in the 108.4 player so two solid missions for reperk and perk up there then the 132 no yeah it's just the high zones oh man 4x reperk and deliver the bomb then we got a melee defender 369 reperk which is nice then if you want to get your weapon supercharger this week we got 5x lighting the bottle and the ride the lighting smoke screen means melees or ranged weapons or no sorry smoke screen or abilities ranged weapons will be reduced damage in smoke screen um you'd think people running 160s don't need that information that is incorrect 5x reperk the 164 player and 400 reperk so if you want a ton of reperk real quick run the repair the shelter and then 5x eye the storm hard modifiers annoying mission <laughs> bad combo bad combo uh the one upgrade llama token i believe is the one yeah we have available is in canny so if you want a free upgrade llama that's great i love these things so much great addition to the game with that mission rework i mentioned earlier you can just save these tokens forever and whenever you see a good llama you just buy it for free it's essentially 50 x-ray tickets in a mission just sitting there reducing Redeemable whenever. I love it. 4X Reperk in the 46-4 player. Then in the 52 zone, one of these missions. All I have is 52 anti-air trap, but I don't know which 52 it is. So we're just going to go here. There we go. Anti-air trap. Shoots lobby projectiles out of the air and uh, pitchers and everything that flies through the air. It'll uh, counter intercept and counter countercept came to my brain but that's not a word broadside really good trap all right everybody listen up broadside cannonballs bounce they bounce back and forth a lot it adds a ton of extra damage in fact it's all the damage a broadside can do the cannonballs shooting out into nothing won't do anything that's very unhelpful so if you ever place broadsides you need to have them facing a wall one or two tiles away you can get away with three, but it's suboptimal. And if you have two broadsides facing each other, that is ideal. Again, you would think that's intuitive and everybody knows it. That is incorrect. Although I don't think any, anybody thinks that. Like, like, look, look, if you read it right here, bouncing cannonballs, bouncing, uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best to mention that every single time I see it, but um, I, I think it might be, <laughs> might be pointless. I actually have been very, doing a very poor job at finishing my dailies. I have been streaming Save the World almost every day. In fact, I might even stream tomorrow because I was going to take the day off just playing the Pokemon Go Community Day, but I realized they removed AR Fast Catching, which deletes my interest in Pokemon Go Community Days. So, might be live tomorrow, although I am filled with some rage right now. So, uh, I might save the world from that energy. I'm like suppressing it to record this video, but I am really really upset right now so yeah i um I, I don't know about that but i'm just saying i have been streaming this game a lot taking out the different horde challenges and i feel like uh I, I could be doing a better job getting taking care of my daily missions because i have not been uh accomplishing any of these either way just wanted to mention that horde dailies are a thing <laughs> so yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow in the daily video at least and uh, in future streams because i've been having a lot of fun with horde and you guys have been having a uh, great time in the streams and i've been having a great time with you guys in the streams chat's been awesome lately so uh yeah anyway subscribe stick around more videos coming out i'll see you guys then